That's there was good. that, d yeah, right? This feels that really mixed up, huh? nice. Thank oh, yes. Yeah, Y'all find the way they extend. <laughs> they done put the stick down. They done picked it back up. <laughs> they were some you, big. I'm pulling out all kind of good stuff. You should have you know? this in your contract. You know what I mean? This can all be a, a part of your everyday experience. Every I'm day. just saying. It you is. know, you there know are what, label though? people around. You could write this somewhere. It'll be one of. I asked my, I, you know what? I have my. Um, I went to Japan, right? And now when I come back, when I came back, I asked my makeup artist. I'm always like, can you give me a massage in my <laughs> head? Um, because. She did it over there. I, I like that. <laughs> you massage You want it all. Like, they do every yeah. So I know you're influenced by old school and some new artists. Let's talk about both of them. Let's talk about your um old school sort of artists that you that inspire you. Um, Michael ultimately. Yeah. He's the greatest man. Oh my gosh, he's incredible. Um, Janet. Put some hair somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Janet. Um Whitney, um, Patty. What I did was I had created this person, right? I don't even know if I can remember these these characteristics that I took from each individual, but uh, I took different attributes from each person that inspired me because I couldn't find this one person. Okay. And I said the impact that Michael Jackson has on the music industry. Um, uh, what did I say? Um, Janet Jackson for what she's done in the female aspect, you know. Um, um, the, I said Whitney for her vocal. Whitney and Patty were my vocal mentors, and then I said the ambition of Michael Jordan. And um, uh, and then uh, vocal business. I said my business mentor is P Diddy, and, and I've added Oprah to him. I forgot. I don't know why I never said Oprah. <laughs> so and you know, so funny. We made a new name for P Diddy and Oprah. P Diddy and Oprah is Popra. So that's what <laughs> all those people together. I think would be a great person. Like that person would be incredible. Is that person you? Uh, I'm trying to be that person. Yeah. I'm. I will. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm. I'm hoping. Um, and let's talk about sort of some new artists that have influenced you. I know that, um, what, Destiny Child was on TV? Yeah, out. what happened was that, that, and that was so funny because the day, that same week that I said I was going to become an entertainer, I remember I stayed home. I missed school this day, and not the same day, but the, yeah, the, the day after, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, Good Morning America was on, and um, Destiny's Child, they were performing, and they were doing a great job. They yeah. were doing a very, very, very good job. And... I felt as if I was on that stage and those people were screaming for me and I was like, you know what, that's what I want to do. I'm going to do it. And I remember my I cried and I had goosebumps. And I, 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 like it may sound weird to some people, but like I felt as if like that was my moment with God. Like he was telling me like this is what you're going to do. And that feeling was so weird. And then that week, that next week, I went and auditioned for that group and it happened. So everything that you've ever wanted... Everyone. You've gotten so far. So far. So far. There's some things that I wanted that I haven't got. Like, I'm working on getting there. Okay. Um, I know I'm, I want I want a house now though. Yeah. <laughs> I want a house. <laughs> so so you're not in your teens yet. No, not you, yet. You know you're still a teenager. Mm -hmm. You've basically accomplished everything you've wanted to do up to the up to this point. Yeah. So I mean. Just about. What do you have to look forward to oh, when you're 30? You know what I haven't got though that I want though. <laughs> what? My real estate license. I told myself two years in a row I was going to get my real estate license, and I still don't have that thing in my wallet. Wait a minute. Hold on. You want, you want a number one album and a real estate license? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Popra. That's, <laughs> Popra. That's really good. It's actually kind of inspiring to sit here. Oh, my god. And listen to you write. I think I'm going to go. This may work. The sky is the limit. This may actually be the trick. I may have to go home and write on a piece of paper. You have to. No, what you, if you write it down, okay. it makes a big difference. And if you carry that paper with you every day. Who taught you that? Me. Not mom, not dad. That's the only child. Being the only child, that's what <laughs> it makes you do. You try everything in the world. I did my own hair when I was young. I've I've tried everything. I've made some clothes yeah. when I was young. I've I've done it all. I've tried to cook when I I've tried to do everything. Being the only child is like you just you always thinking of something to do. So you're gonna go on stage, you're gonna, you know, sing and dance and oh uh, and uh -huh. goody goody and then you're gonna how about three bedrooms, two bathrooms? And people are gonna be like, Are you Oh it's going down. Uh? No, it's going it's going <laughs> down. And I have actually I have a lot of um plans that I wanna like with those things that I wanna do, I feel like whatever you do, you should always wanna do it big. Like if I'm gonna be a, um if I'm gonna be a real estate agent, uh, or if I wanna get my real estate license I may not necessarily be the one to sell the houses, but I may build a company that I can't tell you everything. But right. It's going to be a secret. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. You get a CEO. You know, whatever yeah, it is, you, know, you got to be the CEO. See, I almost gave you some of the goodies right now. You almost got a little bit of that information, but you just got to do whatever it is that you're going to do. I think you should take it to the next level. Okay. If I'm going to work at a company for freight 
the freight, a company that, that ships in McDonald's um, fries and stuff like that, then I'm going to, I want to own that company. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, whatever you do, you should want to, you should want to be on top, man. Yeah. Do you think that, like, after a lot of years of this, you're going to be really sort of far from reality, far removed? Or do you think you'll always at heart be this southern girl who kind of... You know what? Always at heart. I, I think that the person that I am should never change. Maybe the things that I'm doing should only get bigger and better. Like, I definitely want to be on top. Like, I don't, I don't, know, I don't want to always be stuck in one... You, know, you got to take it to the top. The sky's the mm. limit. Life, you only live it one time. You got to make sure that you live, you make it the best. That's what I feel. I determine my destiny. It's in my hands. I can do it. I'm going to be happy. And when I look back, I just want to be like, wow.